Hey y'all, it's Charlene from Charlene's Crochet Corner. There's nothing I can do about this glare except put them up here. And then you see my dark circles. Well, I can't hide those. Um, I'm coming to y'all with a little bit of a, a question for, for this uh, Christmas season Advent thing. I was gifted a Advent box and um, was very, very excited when I got it. I'm still excited, but um, being, being sick uh, has kind of put a damper on my uh, spirit right now. Uh, I'm doing better with the Gillian Beret. I'm not having as many symptoms as I was, which is keeping me out of the hospital, which is a blessing. Um, I still don't feel good. Um, I have been awake since, what's today, Friday, Wednesday morning at 3 o'clock. No, Thursday morning at 3 o'clock I woke up. And I've not been back to sleep yet. I just can't go to sleep. Um, but let's get past the Gillian Beret and all the bad news. And try to get to something happy. Um, I want to talk about this box. I do not see me being able to open a um, little bag one day a week and make a video with it. So I was thinking maybe I could do like five bags or Let's see, to get us to 25, I could do five bags on a fri on Fridays, I guess. I don't know how many Fridays is in this month, but I could look at the dates and see how that works out. Um, that way I could show you, you know, like four or five or six, whatever of the mini skeins. I'm assuming there's mini skeins in there. I haven't even opened it. Uh, but it's a nice size box. And um, so anyway, I, I was wanting some of y'all's feedback on that. I, I just don't think I have the strength to do this every day. And I don't want to push myself backwards when I'm trying to go forwards. Um, that's a, a hard thing to do because I'm really wanting to crochet and knit. And I've picked up a, a real easy little knitting thing that I've been trying to work on for my sister. And it's just a little two row repeat and it's it seems to be very easy, so I'm going to see if I can get, get that done for her. Um, I don't know what to do as far as making minis into something, because I don't know how to join yarn yet. So I'm going to have to get in touch with uh, Gina and uh, from knitting turnpike because she'll make me a special little video that I can keep showing me different steps that I run into. She makes me a video to help me out. So, um, y'all please keep your prayers coming. Um, it could take just one little thing to throw me backwards. And, um, I go to um, the neurologist on December 13th 
for two different tests. And um, one's at 10.30 and one's at 1.30. And then I can't get in to see the doctor um, until March 20th. That's a long time, but all of the doctors, they say, all the neurologists are booked up like that. So, I'm lucky to be getting the test done in, you know, a real timely fashion, like next two weeks. So, um, but yeah, if y'all can just please, please keep lifting me up in prayer. Because if I lose my ability to crochet or knit, I don't know honestly what I'll do. I'll be crazier than I am now. And that's a lot of crazy, y'all. It's a whole lot of crazy. I hope all of y'all are doing well. And I'd like to thank my subscribers who keep coming back for nothing, it seems like. Um, but y'all are very dedicated and loving people. Well, I can show you the tip of the little thing I'm, I'm working on. It's a, um, one of those asymmetrical scarves. Anyway, it looks better if I hold it and kind of pull it. <laughs> it. Might look a tiny bit better. Anyway, that's a color blue. And this is what it's coming from. And then this is the the pattern is called uh, Hot Cakes. It's a Plymouth yarn, yarn and pattern. And it's complimentary when you get your yarn from wherever this yarn come from. But hold on and I'll show you the... See the... They had about, I don't know, five or six, seven or eight, I don't know how many colors of yarn, but this looks more like my sister. Of course, it's going to wrap around her tiny body about 15 times, but I may end up doing it a little bit shorter, I don't know, depending on how it how it's looking um i have not started back on dr miller cox's market bags um i have to hold that cotton yarn so tight and it hurts my hands a lot and um i i just can't do those right now and she understands and then I was commissioned to do a bear. And all I have left to do on the little bear is make two feet, tie them in knots, make a wee little tail about, about that long, make two arms and attach them. And tie those in knots. And it's done. Oh, and close up the butt of it. And the only part that's filled is the head. Everything else is flat. It's called a Everbear. And the lady who commissioned me to make it, her daughter's name is Everly. And so she wanted Everly to have an Everbear. And she said that she saw some on Etsy for $80.
already made. And I said, honey, you might not get the best looking ever bear that you saw, but you'll get an ever bear. And it was not going to cost you no $80. Um, I told her it wouldn't cost her nothing. And she said, no, no, I'm going to pay you something. So I don't know how to charge for things like that. I've never, I've just never sold nothing. I might need to get to it and get busy and make me up some stuff and put in a little shop, you know, maybe not on Etsy, but like my own private thing here. I'll probably never do that either. I'm so slow. And I have so much going against me with my health that I can't just get hunkered down to do, um, you know, knitting and crocheting. For the last week and a half, I've done nothing but get up and go to the bathroom and come back, go back to bed and sleep 24 hours a day for about at least a week. And I called the doctor and asked her what in the world was going on. And she said, well, Charlene, you did suffer a head injury. And I'm like, when? And she said, the Gillian Barre, um attacks the nervous system. And it definitely attacked yours. And so she said, that's considered a head injury. So she said, your head is needing rest. Your brain is needing rest. And that's why you're sleeping. My husband just thought I was having a jolly time with pain medicine, which I wasn't. I mean, I just, I couldn't stay awake. So, and now, and now I'm getting sleepy, so. But I will watch for y'all's suggestions on what to do with this box. You know, open my five little bags a day, I mean, yeah, a day, and do one video a week showing them since, um, number one, I don't get Wi-Fi, and I don't know how long it'll take, even for this video to upload, it could be three days away, um, so if you see this video, please kind of help me out, respond, and let me know what, what you think I should do, since I just know I can't do a a everyday thing. I mean, do you want me to do like half and half or wait and open them all at the end or open them all at the beginning or or like I say, one every five days. I've give y'all some ideas so y'all y'all come back and tell me what you would like to see. Okay? All right. Well, I can't hold this phone any, anymore, it's getting kind of heavy, and um, I am getting tired, I love you all, thank you for subscribing, and you know that I'm not going to edit, um, I uh, do just good to be able to find a, a thumbnail to put up there now, I lost my other thumbnail, when I found it, I couldn't figure out how to get it where it needed to be, so I just made another thumbnail um, up off a picture that I had in my thing. I don't even know where that picture come from, but it was pretty, so I thought, well, maybe people will see that and say, oh, well, that's Charlene. Now, let me look at that video. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I, w I won't be able to do a uh, video every day. Oh, and y'all, our stove broke. Our oven. And right here at Christmas time. So we're not going to be able to get an oven. And we're not going to be able to do much Christmas, or at least not for each other. We're not, because 
we really need a stove bad because, um, you know, my husband tries to, to cook stuff for me because I can't cook. I can't stand in there long enough. And he's tried using the toaster oven. And twice he burnt taco shells so black that you couldn't even tell what he had been cooking. And he went out the front door just to fly with them and threw them out in the yard. And come back in with a few expletable words. And um, so we had tacos on scoops, which was fine with me. I'm easy to please. He could have put my taco meat on a sandwich with some mustard and ketchup, and I could have ate that. I mean, I'm just to the point now. I'm eating just to stay alive. Used to, food was fun. But life is a little harder now. <laughs> just a little bit. And, um, so... Y'all pray that our ability to get a, a range works out. We don't want nothing fancy. Um, I'd like a flat top because it's easier to keep clean than them burners. So just pray about that. That's weighing heavy on my heart. And we need a new roof and just... Thing after thing, it's just going wrong. And, you know, I don't like to tell my woes, but I don't have anybody to talk to. If I try to talk to my husband, he just doesn't want to hear it. And I just really don't have anybody else to talk to. So... And I got my friend Diane, but it seems like every time I call her, I have bad news. She's going to quit picking up my phone calls. Um, I got my friend, um, oh gosh. I can see her face this day. She lives down in Texas in the like the 55 and above um, mobile court place. Um, but I'm Thelma and she's Louise. Cindy Malter. I need to get in touch with her. I can cry on her shoulder if she's in town, or her husband's not in town. Then I'll be able to talk to her. But anyway, y'all, please hit the like button. <laughs> if you didn't like it, please hit it anyway. Um, and maybe share out this just to help get my numbers out to people or my video out to people. And... Um, Maybe I can get some new folks in here with us that we can share some talent with. And anything that y'all make, please send it to me and let me see it. Um, I guess you could put it on my Instagram page. I don't know how to do that, but if y'all know how to, please send me stuff that y'all have made. Or, or show me pictures and somehow or another send me a picture so I can see what y'all were doing um I love to see things that people make and I used to could say well I could make that too now I'm not so sure I can say that well I'll talk to y'all later okay y'all have a great blessed weekend and um, call somebody and just tell them you love them 
If your mama's alive, call her. I don't get as many phone calls as I need to from my daughter. I know she's busy, but I don't get near as many phone calls just checking. Um, and I call my mama all the time. So, y'all have a good day. And I love you all. And I will promise to read all your comments. And however many comments I have the most of is what I'll do. Okay? Alright. Love you all. Peace out. Bye, y'all.